Fellows, good to see you here. It's kind of late, but not too late for addressing these guys from my latest order uh, from Equagenera Europe. Europe, yes. Um, I reckon these are in the worst state. Uh, should have been about three to four seedlings uh, in his jar. Well, I read about it in the um, rating section. Yeah, that's the right word. And a few guys uh, has been receiving these, uh, ordering these guys before. I uh, was complaining a bit about this um, agar agar. They have been uh, thrown about during transport, so you can see they're almost buried in there. It's like some kind of um, <laughs> mushy porridge, black porridge. <laughs> Did you know that uh, agar agar is um, Red Sea weed? Yeah, it, it's extracted from Red Sea weed. Seaweed from the Red Sea, yeah, to put it plain and simple. Anyway, Phalaenopsis violacea, variation Mentave, Mentave, yeah. I like, I like this one, uh, it's a plain purple colored flower. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna address uh, all four of them today, since it's a bit, uh, it's a little bit too late, as I said. Uh, but this guy and the uh, Vanda Robligiana, Robligiana, from Robling, I believe, the guy who named the Cattleya C.G. Robling. But these are, oh, these are the ones. Poo smells like yeast. I'm just pouring them out. It should be about three to four, perhaps uh, um, five ceilings at the most in here. And it's important that you, yeah, they look greater than expected, so maybe it's not so bad. Um, I was just a little bit scared when I saw the uh, comments. Uh, yeah, these roots are not soggy. Only, yeah, only nothing. <laughs> New root. Yeah, so, one good little plant. Let's put them aside. And here's another fowl. Not looking so great, but uh, might recover. So, we should try. Give it a go. I don't like having to recover new plants, but uh, doesn't matter. I look greater than expected. I, I thought it would only be a couple of dead small-ish leaves left, so, yes. I didn't take care of them uh, immediately. It took a couple of days, so I guess it's my fault, but I've been away, and I've been busy. I've been working. Yeah, you need to work as well <laughs> to survive, I guess. Um, even if it would have been nice only to deal with orchids whole day through, 24-7. So, and that was it. So, some new fresh water. Let's address the uh, Vanda Rubligiana. No oh, Vanda's with a yeah. difficult name. Yes. Whoop. Cheats. I'm going to save these boxes. Might come in handy one day. better a lot better let's see here if you can see anything uh, uh, uh what I'm doing but they are so similar look this is the uh, the foul <laughs> this is the band so this one looks great oh, they're hiding at the bottom number three yay oh, might make it as well And number four, cute little guy. Yes, shall make it. So, oh, look nice there on the tree. And this one has been a uh, Swedish smörgås torta. Sandwich cake, that means. With shrimps and uh, ham and smoked salmon and stuff. 
So I just grabbed this one from the meeting. Yeah, I'm gonna get that one. Could be, oh yeah, could come in handy some other time. And yeah, today. Why not? Yes. I'm waiting for the bark. Yeah, I ordered a little bit of bark from, uh, from a nursery. So I have a little bit of this mixture left. Um, a can of a good amount of um, calcium and seashells stuff in it. So, but yeah, I don't have anything else to uh, put it up in. So I have no other option, I believe. So I'm gonna use this tray, the small grey bark and charcoal, perlite, a little bit of seashells, yeah, and pumice. Yes. case I think I'm gonna um, I pre-wet the bark 20 minutes at least and I'm gonna make a couple of holes they really do seem like they are dead but they're not yeah huh. that's great my highest concern is that I'm um, I'm gonna mix them up so I will need to um, create a little barrier so I can see where the flower stops and the van just begins <laughs> growing. Yeah. yeah, we shall see. Maybe one of these uh, flowers will make it. And the price about nine euro for one jar for four plants. Yeah, it's okay for one uh, if one grows well. It's just uh, consider it being a seedling that you got. Have you ever saw the uh, film Hans and Gretchen? <laughs> yeah, you probably recognize the breadcrumbs which they were leaving behind as a track to find the way back home again. But birds ate them, and on this case, no birds here. So, <laughs> all right, the Vanders. Here. No cuties. So I don't forget it. What it is? It will be probably be destroyed anyway due to humidity. But I want the name if I forget it. Yeah. Can I find the email confirmation email and more or such? So like me <laughs> to. Uh... When I think about something, it happens in a way. In many cases, yeah! Boop! Little top. Yeah! And now it's sealed really good. Yeah, it should be sealed really well for at least the ne following next week. And I shall twist it a bit. <laughs> this is undone, but twist it a little bit and open it gradually uh, a little bit each week mm, yeah goodly good <laughs> now I want the, <laughs> the picture to face me instead but, uh, yeah you can't win them all can you so these guys done now time for the other two guys but I'm gonna report them tomorrow yay barks in place we went One little bucket for uh, paths and one for the tenant process. Let's start with the, um, the hardest ones. Ah, yeah, uh, it's been a couple of days since I had to wait for the bark to be delivered. Um, <laughs> uh, the um, Vandas, Vanda Robligiana, Robligiana, seems to be uh, <laughs> from this angle. <laughs> uh, in the best shape yes all four of them seems to be uh, kind of all right yeah my the fowl on the other hand well I can see two fowls doing great and two which aren't brown leaf but I they already had the brown leaf when I transitioned them uh, deflasked them but well never mind 
That's how it goes. Yeah, let's start with the uh, Patrick Petal. It's a funny, um, very beautiful, I've heard. Path Clouds Prime Crystal and Path Rochilianum. So, looks a little bit like, as I said, the uh, Pinocchio. One of them. But, yeah, I see the pictures on the website. Uh, yeah, if they still have them, I can give you a pop up. But, uh, but they should look even nicer. It's not the right variety, really. It's a similar variety on the website, but not the right one. Looking great. Yeah. They stayed in place, and that's a good thing. Haven't, haven't been pushed around, so they're still in this little clump of agar agar. Uh, it's just like jelly. You know, you can use this substance <laughs> for food. Uh, instead of gelatine, so it's a vegan complement to um, gelatine, which are derived from bones on animals. So, if you don't want to eat that, agar agar is a good alternative to it. Yes, let's put a whole clump into the water, shall we? I'm going to save these little cans. I think they're cute. Might come in handy if I. No, might not come in handy. <laughs> I think it just broke. Well, we shall see. We shall see. Um, <laughs> it's just like jello. Little dessert. Switch water. Let's still tangle up together. Well, that's great. Yeah, maybe I can just. Uh, Flush them at faucet. So, very great condition on these guys. Paths. <laughs> Is it even possible to separate them? <clears throat> of course, it will be, but let's see where to start without breaking the roots. They are all really, really tangled up and hooked to each other. So, uh, <laughs> it's almost like it's one plant now, one single plant. I'm going to remove the old leaves here. Root sturdy, good. It's one plant, really good one. No ugly leaves uh, left. Sturdy root system. Yes, so far so good. Second one. Yeah, looks awful, but it's still sturdy alive so no complaints <laughs> now I'm becoming a little bit impatient so let's not do anything hasty really careful handling on them takes a while until I find the right spot where the natural Dividing spot is so yay! One piece, a good piece as well. Good and yay! Number four and number five out of five. Great. Now, next project. Look. And I'm going to add scissors packs. Extra calcium. In the shape of mushy cork. <laughs> it's a terribly large bucket for only four plants, but yeah, you shall keep the moisture. Since I shall be sitting in my old uh, glass uh, miniature greenhouse. That's a little one, a little bottle for explosive, healthy rooting. Maybe just a little bitty, bitty, teeny, weeny bit of it into it. Just a tiny little drop to the bottom. Yeah. 
and now into a little kind of high greenhouse you got yeah I hope this one will keep the moisture oh little Cattleya tenebrosa I never ever managed to keep this variety it's a kind of finicky one very susceptible to uh, catching everything, almost everything, uh, pest-wise, especially scale. And it grows kind of slim and, and flimsy and all. A little bit like, as you can see, of the shape and form of flowers like the Purpurades. Its foliage and pseudobobs are really, really showing similarities to the Purpurades. So. But I can grow Purpurades as well, so I'm not really sure about this guy. These guys. Yeah, but maybe if I grow them from seed, I got a better chance on adapting. Can always give it a go. Nine euro for four plants is not so much. It's all right. Yeah, they do look nice. Five lovely new roots. Yeah. Sturdy leaves, all green still. They look very great on the outside, but now they are. There's one, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I mean, five roots on this one as well. Oh, <laughs> so five on this one as well. They count <laughs> the nursery. Um, and um, <clears throat> six on this one with the poorest leaves that <laughs> carries better roots instead. But they are good quality, all for them. Small guys. Yes? No calcium added. It's alright. Look at least. They have plenty of room to grow in here. For a good amount of time, I think. But anyway, um, this is the project, and I hope this little one shall uh, maintain the uh, humidity correctly. Yeah, of course I can put a little plastic bag over them, and yeah. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of plastic, yeah, that was a good idea. Really, really good idea. Um, I can make some uh, cute holes to it after time with a needle. And a little rubber band, uh, which won't break. Yay! Better, I think. And the same thing goes with the other one. I'm just gonna uh, make holes with a needle or such after one week. And a few more after the week after and such. Yeah, you know the drill. I already told you the procedure. So let us follow these guys as well and hope for the best. <laughs> Three months later. Hmm. I mean, they increase in numbers. No, not really. Uh, what I did do was upload a video when I was deflasking the uh, Paphiopedalum stony ice. Um, yeah, I simply replicated somebody else's choice. Yeah, which could have been a very, very bad choice if unlucky to put them into very very damp and um, fertilized soil mm, small grade bark and perlite into just a tray without any drainage holes or any type of draination to the bottom such as lecker beads or uh, gravel or uh, chunky pieces of bark or yeah you know it and just let it sit there until it dried out and it was time to water it. Two guys on YouTube told me that, um, well, <laughs> firstly, you need drainage <laughs> in order to fertilize the small guys often. There need to be some drainage holes to the bottom. Since they were supposed to sit there for many months, 
before it was appropriate even to uh, put them up separately. And another guy told me that I should really, really decrease the amount of fertilizer since it's really, really, really harmful to the roots. Oh, and I was all confused. I, 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 I have grown orchid seedlings before, actually. Not really, not this size. So um, I got this um, little tray. The drainage to the bottom, as you can see, is dripping. Uh, so I have been watering these guys. And I've also repaired them, all of them, even the stony eyes. So here's where I keep 25 stony eyes and the orchids who just saw me, the flask from Equagenera, Europe. The Pephipedum stony eyes are from uh, Whitman, the Whitman order, in June, three months ago. So uh, this is what they look like three months later. And I did this reporting on the 10th of August, so yeah, exactly one month ago since I put them up separately, so to speak. Yes. I must say that um, I think they are really, really developing. Look at this one size now. It's a stony eye. And I wrote down some notes. The white tags are tags belonging to the uh, plants with the best roots. So I wrote this little note, Path Stony Eye, on the 10th of August, two pieces with OK roots. Yes. Yeah, it surely looks like the, these guys have got a good set of roots down there. They're growing on vigorously for being a Stony Eye. This is almost the size you get one three years to flowering size one at. So that's great. Um... Here's um, Path Clouds Crystal times Path Rothschildianum, the weakest one. But still okay, I thought, at the time. Mm. And this one is growing on very well. It's also the Clouds Prime Crystal times Rothschildianum from Equigenera. This one I, yeah, Path Stony Eye, three pieces with bad roots. I shouldn't have much of a root system down there, but still, hanging in there, still alive. So, the yellow ones, yay, lousy roots. Five tiny with lousy roots. Eh, not so bad, really, for lacking out on roots. <laughs> This one is uh, not so great, but uh, it is also stony eye. So, the Tenebrosa, Tenebrosa, growing on very slowly. It's a Cattleya Tenebrosa, <laughs> sitting in between a lot. Um, what else? Also, another little Tenebrosa here. Tenebrosa. <laughs> so, a few still alive. Um, Vanda Robligiana. The only one which survived. Growing very slowly. <laughs> yes. So, they weren't of very best quality, but uh, especially not the uh, Phalaenopsis. I cannot even find it, but... Um, Hmm, where is she? Yeah, this one is the fowl. Phalaenopsis violacea, variation, mentave. This is a teeny weeny one, so that's what's left of her. And I'm now um, giving the orchids a bit of light. I only started to mm, give them some light. They get the light source from this lamp, so can to see them lamp. <laughs> so that's the update. Now over to something um, very different. I got a request to uh, show a brief look at my aquarium. So come along. I don't know if you know it but I've been a fish 
keeper since 1984. <laughs> I was a little teeny weeny baby. No, I was a child, a small child, yeah. And I started to keep fish. And I bred a few easy ones. These guys aren't the easy ones, I can tell you that much. But uh, they've still been spawning. Here, discus fish. Here's my uh, 200 liters aquarium tank. Only three fishes left. Oh yeah, not left, but I, I've been moving fish about. Yeah, just like we do with our uh, orchids. Move stuff about, but well, I wouldn't call these live lovely babies for stuff, but look at him. It's an angel fish. Amazonas blue. Look at him. He's a mason. He's a male, yeah, he's a male. Here I do believe that I've got two female. This discus fish is probably a female. And this one is called Hecate Cross Blue. Yeah. This one is Red Turkus. Um, probably also a female. So I've got a couple of fry. Edwardy. Uh, the 20th of May. And uh, yeah, whatever. But most part of them are Grishakis. These guys I'm going to sell, perhaps, or give away to somebody who would like to have them. <laughs> Fancy the colors and stuff. Up here, you can see it's kind of clouded. Uh, I recently uh, did a water change, so um, why the water is clouded is due to the clay in the uh, water conditioner. Yeah. So, a couple of fry, even there. And here's the lovely discus fish I got from um, Germany, shipped to the uh, uh, pet store. Dark Angel, discus Dark Angel, from Stenke Discus. Unfortunately, the uh, Stenke Discus is no more. Uh, we decided to. Uh, Stop breeding. Um, they have to get rid of all the lovely, lovely discs. This is my 450 liter tank. The brand is Jewel. Very common in Europe. Uh, furniture, aquarium. Really, really nice, I think. Oh, looks lovely in a, in, yeah, decorative in a home, in a living room, in any kind of room. Uh, so, they love it in there. Two huge water filtration systems. Eheim. Really does the trick for it. They usually like to um, be kept in very, very, very fresh water. Uh, so we have normally have to make many water changes, um, preferably a couple of times each week. But uh, I don't. <laughs> I don't need it really. Anyway, and this male is the dolphin Malawi cichlid. Looks like a dolphin. It's a young male. This one, with a large bump to its forehead. It's an elderly male. They can tolerate each other when not in uh, breeding season. Here's a female, a little bit smaller, uh, with no tendency of any bump to her forehead. Kind of uh, peaceful, normally, but not when breeding. I have a lot of mouth breeding females for the moment here's a female to this light blue male metraclima grishaki metraclima zebra masoni reef lovely male this female is is is, is chewing somewhere as we call it here she is oh. Good color for being a female. 
kind of similar to the male. <laughs> but she's mouth breathing, as you can see. A little basket underneath her chin. There's another beautiful male, Metroclima emisobo magunga. The name declares the um, catching point <laughs> where they caught the uh, wild caught fish. The start is where they live, so to speak, in Lake Malawi. So here's another brown little female, so they can be very, very nondescript as well. Since the male is so beautiful, somewhere, <laughs> you can find him. He usually hides in there, so all of a sudden he pops up from outer space. The males are very, very much colourful compared to the females, except for a few uh, species, so to speak. Ah, uh, look at that one. That's a male hiding. Two. This little female, can you see? She's all grey brownish. Look. <laughs> It lives in a cave, nature, I assume, replicates the behavior in the aquarium. Some likes to be hiding in caves, in between rocks, and others are really more freely swimming or all around, doesn't really have uh, somewhere to dwell. <laughs> and just swims around, no immediate enemies due to the size and ability to defend themselves so it's so very very interesting to just sit here and watch yes here's my 180 liter tank some angel fish and <laughs> something else <laughs> uh peru altum they've been spawning one male and one female in here, so now they reach maturity. They're kind of aggressive when <laughs> when they're about to spawn, but that was okay. I think this is a couple. It's kind of difficult to tell the male apart from the female, but uh, the male will, yeah, in most cases, uh, get a little bit larger. This is a male, and he will also develop a little, little bit more prominent uh, bump to his forehead. This is also male, but not so old yet. He will also develop a little bit heavier forehead, so to speak. Still oh so beautiful. As you can see, normally, or not normally, but in the future, he says female here, yeah, as you can see the difference. In the future, these guys are gonna grow tall. Not longer, they will grow taller. So I will need to uh, switch tanks for them into a put them into a uh, higher tank well, that will be another day but i've got one down at my basement somewhere lying about <laughs> very nice aquarium and here's a black one aren't really solid black but almost very 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 difficult to get hold of a black angelfish nowadays here in Sweden. <laughs> and I got a few catfish. There's a lovely one. Look at his tail. Oh, yeah. They're kind of shy. They likes to hide. Especially when it's light, so. But if I would give them a little bit of algae wafer, they will all show up. So maybe I should give them a few just to show you guys what they look like. They will crawl out from everywhere, every corner. You can see. <laughs> Lying about in caves. <laughs> That's where they hang out. Look, this is their food. It looks like this. Happens really quickly. Look. Uh, yeah, I just gave them three. Yeah, no. L600. Yeah, it's noticing something. He only uses senses, not his eyes. So. Can only smell it. Yeah, 
Now we finally got it. Yeah, here comes another one. L200. The screen. Lorikaride. Favorite of mine. There's another fellow hanging. L114. Yeah, here's come, here comes a little zebra. L046. Very shy. Hiding. So it's good to see her. It's not very often, I can tell you that much. Um, let us see. Here's another one. I think it's L104. 134. And yeah, here comes the um, tough guys. <laughs> kind of similar. They don't really like each other. I need to separate them in the future. Yeah, look at that one. Isn't he a beauty? Oh, I don't want to show myself. He's gorgeous, or she. And this little fellow with spots. Yes. So they're very lovely to watch. Actually, everybody loves the uh, waffers. The full zebra is behind it. So the small one is the original. So thank you guys so much for watching and we should talk soon. Hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, you know, please give it a thumbs up. It would help this channel a bit. So um, bye bye guys. Take care. Talk to you soon.